Okay, hi Virgo men, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for you. Let's see what the energy is like. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Now, cross watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo male, feel free to flip the rolls. But spirit, what do we have here for the masculine energy? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, spirit. For Virgo men. What are we getting stuck on? Personal issues reaches a resolution, and then you have conclusions are within reach. Hmm. Okay. What else? And going forward. Thank you. So I don't know, there's something here that where it feels like, you know, there's a resolution to something. So the first card that you had coming out, it says, have faith in your dreams. And then going forward, you have confidence is the key to success. Makes me feel like some of you have Leo very heavy in your chart, okay? Or some sort of fire energy. Now, this is interesting. For some of you, I'm hearing that there may have been something that you have wanted to do since Leo season. And then that would be, this could have to do with love. Uh, Leo season. What are we looking at? The end of July, beginning of August. So the number seven or eight could be significant. Number 78 could be significant. What is this for the masculine energy? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. And going forward. Thank you. False person at the bottom of the deck. And just as I was saying, the number eight could be significant. Yeah, there may be some sort of false energy here when it comes to some sort of finances, okay? For some of you, <laughs> why am I hearing this? <laughs> For some of you, it's almost like I'm hearing, I don't know if you was dealing with a female that maybe you consider as false. But I was hearing that this female felt like she had hit the jackpot when she got with you. Hmm. So the first card that we have coming out here, it says gift. Have faith in your dreams. Some of you, there could be some sort of gift coming towards you. Someone here may want to gift you something. But I feel like for some of you, I don't know, some of you could want to give someone a gift, right? It is a number 17, which boils down to an 8. And the 8 of ones does talk about moving forward. So this could be maybe around the Christmas times, okay? But going forward in the reverse, which I don't really take these in the reverse, but I do pay attention. You have the main male. So, you know, it's interesting that it's coming out in the reverse with confidence is the key to success. This is saying to me, masculine energies, that some of you have to start believing in yourself. You have to start to know that you are worthy, that you do deserve. Unless, you know, some of you out there, you, you've done something here and, and you, you kind of feel like, I don't know, maybe your conscience is kicking in. What's the energy in love? For the masculine energy. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing a song, but I don't know who sings it. Um, I'm hearing someday I'll fly away. So I don't know. Are you... Are you reminiscing are you thinking about someone here because i'm hearing that bit as well in a song where it says what can your love do for me 
But like I said, maybe you want to approach someone, but maybe that's how you feel like they're going to be like, um, what can you do for me? So I don't know, maybe you're looking at someone who you feel is very independent, self-sufficient. But show me what is the energy in love. Thank you, Spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. In the reverse, okay, so we have worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. And I want it to come out in the reverse. Show me more. And then you have it is safe for you to love. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So what is the fear here? Some of you fear that, like I said, you feel like when it comes to love, maybe somebody that you want to reconcile with, you may feel like it's going to be an unrequited um, love situation here. Let's use these. What is this for the masculine energy? Have faith in your dreams. Some of my masculines, you've been through some sort of transformation or you've had some sort of growth for some of you. Someone here could have got a tattoo very recently. I am seeing a butterfly, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a butterfly. What is this for the masculine energy? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. The lovers. Hmm. But the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Show me more. Do you know what? This I was gonna say that, you know, but um I'll see what comes out underneath the wheel of fortune. But with that worth waiting for coming in the reverse, I was almost going to say to someone that, hey, listen, I don't know if someone's time is run out. I don't know if spirit with the Wheel of Fortune is saying, hey, now is the time or. What is the lovers? For my Virgo men. Thank you, spirit. The king of wands. Yeah, this may be time for you to take action here. King of Wands is about having confidence. The King of Wands doesn't underestimate himself. He is a go-getter. He is a visionary. Some of you have had some sort of vision about something. And it's almost like Spirit is saying, okay, now you have the vision, go get it. Now you have the vision, take the action. And someone's still in this Knight of Pentacles energy. Like, mm, I'm not sure. What is the Wheel of Fortune? I feel like for some of you as well, it feels like, it looks like this King of Wands is almost standing, standing in some sort of water here. I don't know if some of you are very much trying to protect your feelings, your emotions. And I'm also kind of seeing like these two lizards on each side of the King of Wands on the wall. For some of you, number one, it makes me feel like you may be spying on someone here, right? This could be some sort of fake account or something like that. For others of you, I feel like you have dealt with people in the past that, like I said, maybe have been fake, right? Opportunities, right? People who come around you, pretend that they want to be with you or like you or whatever, right? Only to see what they can get out of you. So some of you, you, you may be afraid of that energy where you've had, like I said, some sort of, um, I almost want to use the word snakes around you. Or people, like I said, who just in the past, they've kind of camouflaged themselves so well that it's almost shocking to the system when they show you who they really are. And that may have made you weary. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Cups. Look at that, Ten of Wands. 
Some of you, you with the Page of Pentacles, you, you're trying to make practical decisions at this time, right? Because for some of you, it feels like you don't want to repeat history. Situations that you thought was going to be emotionally fulfilling, right? Make your cup overflow. Actually turned out to be situations that you walked away from. Ten of Wands, it talks about carrying a burden. And I could see it the other way, okay? I could see it coming this way. But maybe you feel like, some of you may have made some sort of choice. Look at that, Seven of Swords. Some of you may have made some sort of choice to drop a burden, okay? And maybe you walked away from this situation, Eight of Cups. But you see where you're walking towards? You're walking towards the Ace of Cups and adding those together. It makes the Nine of Cups, which talks about wish fulfillment. But the Eight of Cups is that energy where you had to go on some sort of self-discovery journey here. What is the Wheel of Fortune? The Moon. Now, I just heard for some of you, okay, that the Moon is here because with the Wheel of Fortune because Spirit is wanting you to take some sort of leap of faith. You may not know what is on the other side, right? You may have fear. But it takes a leap of faith to, to, to kind of go into whatever this next chapter is. Yeah, High Priestess is about listening to your intuition here. What is the lovers and the king of wands? What is the masculine looking at, spirit? <laughs> what is the lovers and the king of wands? Nine of pentacles. So are you looking at another Virgo? And what did I say about maybe you very much looking at someone who is independent self-sufficient where maybe you know you're kind of feeling like mm, a little bit intimidated maybe what is the nine of pentacles two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the devil and the sun card and the six of swords what is the nine of pentacles energy the fool taking a leap of faith you want to go towards someone that's what it's going to take so we also have aries and aquarius energy out here but the full card can talk about not only does it talk about the innocence of someone okay but it talks about um choosing a new direction what is the wheel of fortune and the moon card So we have the judgment coming in the reverse and then we have this emperor coming out here. So they're definitely and you've got the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck with the five of cups and you've got the queen of wands and the justice with the knight of cups. Now some of you definitely could be dealing with, um, like I said, an Aries or a Taurus. This could also, you know, Oh, okay. Maybe some of you are finding out that somebody hid some sort of secrets from you or they have some sort of secrets here. Um, for some of you, this could be in the workplace, all right? This may have to do with like a boss or somebody who maybe rules over you. When I say that, you know, it could just be in terms of like a... Um, a manager or something like that here maybe someone that you feel like treats you unfairly um, in the workspace for some of you this could have to do with a father figure and for others of you I don't know like I said if if you feel like um maybe you did something wrong here right and maybe you're judging yourself too harshly for it it depends on what it is that you did but um the judgment in the refer reverse can talk about what does it talk about? These reversals. <laughs> Maybe you learned some sort of karmic lesson. You know, the judgment in the reverse can talk about someone who is unwilling to learn. They're unwilling to change. The judgment in the reverse can talk about malicious gossip. Mm, so what is this? 
Because over here I'm seeing the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Wands and the Justice in the upright. This is somebody crying over spilt milk here. This is somebody in their head about something that they have done wrong. You've got the Queen of Wands with the Justice. Now the Queen of Wands is someone who is usually someone who's very confident. So you may be looking at someone who may even be a counterpart to you. But the Justice is about doing the right thing. It's about balancing the scales here. So show me more about the judgment in the reverse and this emperor energy. So I'm seeing the, come on then, ace of cups. And the nine of swords. Why is the ace of cups with the nine of swords? With the ace of swords. So we've got two aces here. This energy makes the Ten of Swords. So, listen, masculine energy, vice versa, cross-watcher, I don't know. It just feels like someone here wants to go towards someone, okay? But it takes for them to tell the truth. And it looks like somebody here is having anxiety about that. Or someone here is having anxiety about some sort of communication. Or some sort of clarification about something. So what is confidence is the key to success, for this main male, four of swords in the reverse, the temperance, what is the four of swords in the reverse, the five of pentacles, the eight of cups, Clarify the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles for the Masculine Energy. Yeah, there's that Strength card. And there's the King of Cups. You see, <laughs> I feel like with the Four of Swords coming in the reverse, I feel like it's an energy here of somebody doesn't want something to be laid to rest. It's that energy for me of somebody doesn't want something to be over, Okay. Five of Pentacles is an energy of somebody feeling left out in the cold here. Now, maybe you left somebody out in the cold and maybe you wish you didn't. Take it how it resonates. But you've got this King of Cups and the Strength card. Someone here is suppressing their feelings, they're suppressing their emotions here. For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, right? There's a lot of masculine energy out here. For some of you, you admire someone's strength, their courage. What is the temperance and the eight of cups? High priestess. And the six of swords. What is the temperance? Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, the Temperance does talk about patience. It does talk about, you know, peace, balance, harmony, that kind of energy. I don't know if some of you want to go towards a high priestess energy. I don't know if some of you are moving in silence. It feels like some of you want to give an apology to someone. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. Some of you may have found something out about maybe family. For some of you, you may have, like I said, maybe you found something about some sort of finances here with the Ten of Pentacles. But for others of you, I feel like when it comes to love, I feel like you, you see somebody that you may want to be with for the long term here. Ten of Pentacles. That's investing. That's building a legacy. I'm also hearing something about some of you about breaking generational curses here. Give me one after the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. 
the seven of wands okay so someone here is very protected so whether it's you or whether it's this high priestess energy with the temperance out here the knight of cups in the reverse I just feel like you have someone here. Let me say it like that. I just feel like someone here has already convinced themselves that something is not going to go nowhere. But it's almost like someone here can't even concentrate at work. Yeah, they can't concentrate at night. They're not sleeping very well. And it's all because it looks like someone here is in their head about wanting to build with somebody. So, oh, before we go, Spirit, give me a few cards. What is this false person? What is this false person energy? A Queen of Wands coming out here. Show me more. Page of Cups. And one more for this false person energy. Yeah, I knew that was going to come out. I heard it. Clear as day, the devil. Um, and, and it's out here some of you i don't know maybe you're dealing with a fire sign here it doesn't have to be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay we also have cancer pisces scorpio out here and capricorn energy some of you you may have repeated some sort of um karmic cycle with somebody here right this could have been somebody who maybe they drawed you in by the way they look okay usually the queen of wands is usually someone who is very attractive on the outside okay Now, the other way I could flip it is that maybe you're the false person here, a masculine, right? If it's not yours, just leave it alone. Don't claim what energy doesn't belong to you. And like I said, you may be very attracted to someone, but maybe you betrayed this person somehow, some way. Uh, and, you know, uh, maybe you want to give this person an apology. For some of you, you may even be a little bit addicted on somebody, right? The devil can talk about an obsession, For some of you, there's someone that you have a child with that is obsessed here with you. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Swords. And for some of you, there may have been a water sign here. Yeah, definitely it could have been somebody that you have children with. This could be a mother figure, right? It could be your own mother. There's some sort of conflict here. Someone here betrayed someone, Ten of Swords. And it made the situation very difficult. You've got the Hierophant. It could have been somebody that you were married to. Or like I said, maybe you're finding out someone married you for what it is that you have. What is a sudden wealth? Five of Swords. Something here was an unwise choice. So if someone here was doing something for money, you know, there's an energy here of something that's very much going to catch up to you. May have seen fun and games at the time. And, you know, when does it not? If somebody's offering you money, right? A lot of people are very drawn to that energy. That's why it says sometimes the love of money is the source of all evil. What is the Five of Swords? Five of Swords is also an energy of feeling defeated. Yeah, we have a Queen of Swords. Maybe something here didn't go to plan with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Now, this could also have been, I don't know, maybe there is someone here around you. This could have to do with like a court case or something that was going through the legal system. Maybe someone here didn't get what they expected. Because the Queen of Swords could very much to me like represent some sort of a, an authority figure. A lawyer, solicitor. But this is also an energy of the Six of Swords, right, which we see over here. Someone here may have used their intuition to cut somebody out of their life. Give me one more for the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The world in the reverse. What is the world in the reverse? You have the Hermit. See, it makes me feel like with the world in the reverse, something here is not over. Something here is not complete. And then you have your energy. Give me one more. But even though something may not be complete, it feels like someone here is at a crossroads. Yeah, I told you something here is not complete. Six of Wands. There's still some sort of victory to be had in a situation. Give me one more on that Five of Swords. 
the tower. Now, for some of you, I hope this isn't an energy with the Five of Swords here and the Hermit and the world in the reverse um, with the Queen of Swords. I hope someone here wasn't very much. It, it's fact, give me one more. Five of Swords and this Queen of Swords. Because I just saw the Tower. What is this? The Nine of Swords. I don't know. Is it something that someone is saying? Queen of Swords is someone who is, you know, they speak the truth. They're very clear. They're very direct. Yes, they can come across very cold or very stern. It just makes me feel like for some of you, and you know, if you were trying to do something towards someone, it makes me feel like something here was unsuccessful. Because it feels like someone here is still having a victory. Nothing hasn't ended for them. Okay, Spirit. Anything that my masculines need to be aware of at this time? One more. So I am seeing, yes, exactly. It landed on this emperor and the judgment in the reverse with the moon card. So I don't know if this is some sort of moon magic, okay? But karma is going to strike here. We have the wihi he card, which is the black magic. And this is a number five, and it's not giving me the energy of the five of swords. It's giving me the energy of the five of wands where there's some sort of conflict and drama and chaos that's going to come from this. You have the number 10. It says a powerful energy shift and it's the eclipse moon. Something here is over. And then you have a number 11. It says sweet memories. And it's interesting. Sudden wealth with sweet memories is a number 11. They're both a number 11 here. So let me give you an example. All right. Like I said, don't claim the energy if it's not you. Flip it. Reverse it. Do what you need to do or leave it alone. If someone here was trying to do some sort of black magic or um, send some sort of negative energy towards someone here. Now, I don't know if it's because of their finances, okay? But it makes me feel like not only is who sent the energy out going to get karma, right? But this situation is going to end. And whoever was... That this energy was meant to hit. It feels like they're going to hit some sort of a jackpot. Um, or, or they're going to have some sort of a glow up. Or they're going to have some sort of a victory with that six of wands that I saw. Hmm. Okay. Give me three cards. What is this um, trick or treating? For Virgo men. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Thank you. Yeah. So this could have been something that was done in the springtime. It doesn't have to be. But then you have, yeah, hex. Banishment. Feels like somebody wanted somebody gone. An intensification. So I don't know if this is the energy of somebody who was putting real hard work into whatever this was. Give me three cards for the powerful energy shift. And two more. Oh. Yeah, moon cycles. This feels like moon magic. But see with that eclipse, something here could have been ended in the last eclipse that we had. You have Lady Goddess, I'm telling you, towards a divine feminine energy. And then you have containment so i don't know if someone here was trying to keep somebody stuck coming out sideways on this nine of pentacles you have tarot cards and guidance so i don't know if someone here was attacking like i said the nine of pentacles energy maybe someone who is a tarot reader but this came out sideways almost like trying to block this person 
What is sweet memories? Give me three cards for the masculine energy. Clearance. Yeah, broomstick. We have death and then we have mass. Oh, um, yeah, you got death and then you got masculine energy. So I don't know if there is a, a masculine in here that was trying to cast some sort of death spells or I don't know if someone here may be going through some sort of awakening. I could see it that way as well. I don't know if someone here was dealing with a Scorpio. But moving on, I'm not trying to... Give me three cards. What are the lessons here? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What are the lessons here? I heard you live by the gun, you die by the gun. So I don't know. You have failure. It says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You have judgment. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, I hope this wasn't someone who was judging somebody just because they have, they live a different life or they believe in something different. Uh, man, I, let me stop. You have honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So again, for some of you, this could have been somebody around you. And then you have humor. It says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. It just feels, if that is the case, it feels very pathetic, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah. Where should the masculine's energies, where should their focus be? Where should their focus be? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, it's almost like someone here is not even focused on their own journey here. They're, they're, they're too busy looking at someone else. Where should their focus be, my Virgo men? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says opportunity to forgive. It says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So, <laughs> okay, do you know what? Whatever. Uh, moving on, you have Relay. It says, Beloved One, it says it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that, you, so that you'll learn to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Yeah, and it's funny because I saw joy at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this is an energy where someone here needs to focus on, look at that change in direction and the shower of abundance. If someone here is realizing or needs to realize <clears throat> that the way they were going was the wrong way here. Spirit says, you listen, all this negative stuff and trying to bring people down and trying to stop people from their um, goals and their destinations. It's you taking the eye off the ball in terms of where it is that you're supposed to be going. So it's almost like, for example, someone has their eye on someone who may be doing very well, right? They may be financially stable or whatever it is, okay? Maybe um, whatever it is. And it's almost like someone is putting a lot of energy and time into envying someone else in terms of what it is that they're achieving for themselves when they could have been putting that energy into them in terms of what they want to achieve. But someone here is too focused over here when spirit says, hey, listen, you're worried about that person's abundance when your abundance is over there. What is this? You have focus on service. It says your soul desires only to joyfully serve. It says and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. It says the stream continuously feeds you everything you need. 
put your entire focus upon staying in the stream and give stream of giving and receiving in every situation in all that you do. Why well, do I feel like I want to read that again, but I'm not going to. So what are some of the blockages here for the masculine energy? So I can end this reading spirit because I don't know. Yeah, bluff. It says pretending mask extravag extravagant. You have breaking point. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like someone's making themselves mad by watching someone else here. So you have breaking point. It says limit, final straw, overwhelmed. It makes me feel like someone feels like they can hide. But I always say, from who? From the Most High? From the ancestors? From the angels? It makes me almost want to call somebody a fool. <clears throat> you have exclusive it says dishonest deception and trickery clarify these three cards thank you spirit yeah you have broken it says shattered heartbroken destroyed so is somebody doing all of this because they're in their emotions they're in their feelings makes me feel like an energy of revenge You have exhaustion, it says depletion, drains, long journey. So see, this is giving me the energy of someone may have been doing something for a long time. But if you do something once, twice, and you see that it hasn't worked, why would you continue to do it? It feels like an energy of obsession. Or an energy of someone who may be I don't know, mentally unstable. Curse at the bottom of the deck. I hope this wasn't some sort of a spell so that someone could um, reconcile with someone. Because it feels like someone here may have wanted a second chance. Somebody wanted to make amends. So because they couldn't get this person to do it out of their free will... I'm going to make them do it. No. What is this? Look at this. A divine masculine energy. Or masculine energy. I'm not even going to call it divine. Or maybe you're the divine masculine that can see all this going on. Maybe you know someone is fake here. Let's end this. Uh, yeah, I feel like I want to end this. So give me a card for the masculine energy. What do you have, Michael? I hear me calling him Michael. <laughs> Not first name basis. <laughs> well, we got Michael. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um... Archangel Michael, thank you. <laughs> what is the energy here? Give me one more for the masculine energy. Thank you, spirit. What are we getting stuck on? Get your power back. It says your vibration is rising. Okay. So we do have a number 33, which boils down to a six. It says, this is a blessing in disguise. It says, be patient and have faith that your angels have the situation under control. It says, what will come is far better than you dared to dream. And then we have a number 16, which could be significant, boils down to a number seven. Um, it says, it's almost over. It says, your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. 
So masculine energy, that is what I have for you. If anything in the reading resonated, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, masculine energy.